welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, you know what to do. Go ahead and click the subscribe button below and become a part of the family. My name is Z, and we do all types of fun feminine content on this channel. So if that's something you're interested in, please be sure to press the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a new video. All of my social medias will be linked in the description box below. So now that you dolls know what you need to know, let's hop into the video. Okay, dolls, so we're back. Happy Fragrance Friday. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing Moschino's Toy 2 Bubblegum Perfume. I am so excited because if you guys know me then you know I love gourmand scents and I also love bubblegum scents I actually have Bath and Body Works I think it's called bubblegum something but it's a bubblegum body mist and when I've smelled that ever since I've been on the hunt for more bubblegum scents and this fragrance was the only one that I could find. I found this at Ross for only $44.99. You know, I really don't understand why companies price things like $6.99, $7.99, $8.99. Just price it an even number. Just say it's $9, say it's $8, say it's $7. This is $45, you guys, from Ross and I'm so happy to find it because I have been on a hunt for it and I actually found it at Marshalls a while back, but it was like, $70 and I was gonna get it but I went back and it wasn't there so then I found it for 45 at Ross I'm so excited look at the packaging y'all like shut up what are you talking about are you kidding me that is so pretty okay so let's go ahead and open her up this is actually my first Monschino how do you pronounce this name you guys let me know in the description box below is it Monschino Monschino um, I know he's a designer, um, but I just never tried his perfume before. Oh, I love this. The only thing is, I will say the box feels kind of cheap. It just feels like a colored cardboard versus like, you know how sometimes people print colors and stuff onto the packaging. It doesn't feel like it's like shiny or printed. It's like a matte. But I guess maybe the idea is like it's a toy box, but I do love like all the font and everything on the box. And I do love the hot pink color. So I'm into it. I'm into it. Oh, you guys, inside is pink. That's what I'm talking about. I hate when people like, I hate when brands do packaging and then the outside of the box is cute. And when you open the inside box is like just plain white. It's like, what? I love this with the hot pink color like yes. <laughs> I'm sorry you guys, let me go ahead and do my disclaimer before I get too ahead of myself. So quick disclaimer dolls, I am a gourmand girly so I'm into sweet cake like candy scents. So if that's something you dolls are into, you probably won't like the same things as I do. Of course, you should definitely smell each individual fragrance for your own self. You don't have to go off of what I think or how I feel. Um, unless you trust me, <laughs> then go right ahead. Um, but this is just my own personal opinion. This is just what I think and how I feel. And everybody has their own individual scent palettes and each person smells things differently. So just take that into consideration upon this review. And also I love to chat and talk a lot and I feel like a lot of people don't like chatty reviews. They like get to the point, get to the point, get to the point. I'm not like that on this channel. I'm very chatty. It's just very much like a hangout with me type thing. So if you don't like that, there's tons of reviews out there of people doing like three minute reviews. So just wanted to put that out there, but oh my God, you guys. <laughs> Here she is. Oh my God. Oh, oh, she's gorgeous. Oh no, she's gorgeous. She's absolutely captivating. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. <laughs> you guys, the lid is a bear head. Like, <laughs> this is what I'm talking about when I talk about packaging and conveying a story through the packaging. Like what? The hands are all matte distinguishing it from the body, which is the bottle of the fragrance, which is a light pink color, super cute. Yeah, I don't think the liquid is pink. The pink liquid appears to be clear, but the bottle is like a light pink color and then the head is like this hot pink. This is gorgeous. I am living. 
I am living my best life. So I want to go ahead and look up the fragrance notes and the description of this perfume so I can give you guys an accurate review. We will be doing a atmosphere test, which is when I spray it in the air and I just let you guys know what I think off the cold sniff. And then we'll spray it on our skin and get a warm sniff with the mixing of my natural oil. So let's check her out machino toy to bubble gum so i'm gonna go ahead and take the description from sacks of fifth um dot com so the one size that i got is a 1.7 ounce so 45 dollars for a 1.7 ounce i think that's pretty good for it to be a designer fragrance um and the one on their website is 89 dollars what size is this though okay so it's 89 dollars for a 3.4 ounce Okay, so let's go ahead and read the details for this fragrance. So the description says, Toy Bubble Gum Eau de Toilette. Oh, it's an Eau de Toilette. It's not a perfume. Okay, guys, so you might want to consider that when you pay for it or buy it, that it is an Eau de Toilette, and the toilettes don't seem to be as potent or last as long as a perfume does. So just keep that in mind. Um, in my opinion, that's been my experience, that they just don't last as long and they're not as potent. Um, Toy 2 Bubblegum Eau de Toilette is a fragrance by Machino encased in the iconic teddy bear. The bubblegum fragrance envelopes the body and stimulates the mind. Made in Italy. That's cute. Okay, so the top notes are candied citrus, Italian lemon, and Italian orange. I love how they said Italian lemon and Italian orange because it's made in Italy. That's cute. The heart notes are bubblegum accord, ooh, cinnamon, blueberries, ginger, Bulgarian rose, uh-oh. I hate rose. I forgot to tell you guys that I. Sorry about that, dolls. Um, my camera shut off on me, so I had to go switch out the battery, but I was talking about the rose. I hate rose. Rose is one of my least favorite scents. Like, absolutely cannot stand the scent of rose. Like. It to me just smells so old and I just don't like it. It does not smell good. It smells like potpourri in a bathroom. Like it's not cute. I don't like it. Um, so Bulgarian Rose, so I'm scared about that. <laughs> Juicy Peach, ooh, Peach Blossoms. And then the base notes are Cedarwood, Ambrox Fix, and Silky Musk Cocktail. Ooh, I'm excited to see. Oh, you know what else I wanted to try, you guys? I wanted to try Moschino's Fresh the pink one it looks like the little pink windex oh my god if i find that i'm gonna review it for you guys let's go ahead and spray it in the air and see what she smells like oh my god i'm so excited <laughs> like, oh my god i don't know i can't control myself you guys i can't when i'm excited i'm excited like Mosquito! Yes! This is everything! This is everything that I would want in a bubblegum fragrance! And you do smell a bit of the rose on the come down, which I'm not a fan of. I don't care for the rose on the come down, but I can see how it marries well with the bubblegum notes and it's not overpowering. Like the rose doesn't overpower the bubblegum. It actually complements it very, very well. I also can see why they added the rose in because it makes it less juvenile. So it doesn't smell like, you know, just candy bubblegum. It smells like a perfume candy, if that makes sense. Oh my God. So initial impression in the air i absolutely love it there's this huge burst of like juicy pink bubble gum you guys i feel like i was in the middle of like a group of people chewing pink bubble gum and everybody blew a bubble and the bubbles popped all over my face that's what i felt okay so definitely transporting me to bubble gum world bubble gum land i'm obsessed i freaking love it now what I'm noticing with the come down is the rose. I said this already. I'm not a huge fan of rose, so how I do not like the rose. Like, I don't mind it mixed with the bubble gum, but it's going more and more and more down into a rose scent. I do smell a little bit of a citrusy scent in there. I can definitely smell or call that like orange or lemon, if you will. I'm definitely getting a musky note. I would classify this as a bubble gum musk. That's how I would classify it in the air. 
definitely musky. Um, and I, but I'm not mad at the musk. Like I kind of like the musk. There's a sweet musk about it. And I can definitely get that cedar wood in there as well, which is giving it more of like a sweet musky note and less of like a woodsy musky note. Peach blossom, I don't really smell peach blossom. Juicy peach, it says, I don't really smell peach in the air, you guys. I'm just being honest, I smell the rose. Ginger, I'm not getting ginger in the air. Cinnamon, a little bit of cinnamon. Blueberries, I'm not getting blueberries. The bubble gum and the rose is what I'm getting the strongest of, and then I'm getting like the citrusy notes as well. So bubble gum, citrus, rose, and musk is what I smell. So I would definitely classify this just based off of the strongest notes that I smell in the air, a like gourmand musk, if you will. Okay, so let's go ahead and spray it on our skin and see what we think. I am so... I love it already. Okay, let's see. Is it drying down into an oil? I like oil-based perfumes because it tends to last longer on my skin. Oh my God. Y'all, it smells so freaking good. It's just juicy. It's like not just bubble gum, but it's like a juicy, bright, vibrant burst of bubble gum. Yup, <laughs> yup. I will say on my skin, the rose is coming out a bit more on my skin and I'm not a fan of that. I don't like that the rose. I feel like the rose is too much on my skin. I would I would prefer you could just take out the rose altogether. I don't mind the rose in the air, but on my skin, I don't really care for it. I do get a much more of a lemony note on my skin than I did in the air, but definitely bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. Okay, you <laughs> smell so good. Cinnamon, I do smell a warm, sweet, cinnamony note. Blueberry, I don't get blueberry. I do smell the cedar wood. I am smelling definitely a musky note, you guys, like a creamy, sweet, musky note in there for real. I'm actually getting kind of like a vanilla -y note, like lemon and vanilla and bubble gum, which is really good, you guys, not gonna lie. Ginger, I do smell the ginger in there. It's not very strong though. It's really light, sweet ginger. I just don't smell blueberry. I do smell the peach. I do get a little bit of peach blossom, not necessarily a juicy peach, but peach blossom, yeah. On my skin, I would classify this still as a gourmand musk. It definitely has a musky note to it. Definitely sweet, definitely gourmand. If you are a gourmand girly, <laughs> get you one of these, okay? It is so freaking good. It transported me to bubblegum land. Honestly, you guys, let's just go ahead and get into the rating because I already know how I feel about this. It is so freaking potent. It's not even like dissipating yet. Like, where's the come down, babe? Where's the come down? I'm so excited about this fragrance. It smells so freaking good on my skin. Like, who thinks of these ideas? Like, who thinks of a bubblegum musk? Like, genius, genius, genius. Okay, let's go ahead, dolls, and get into rating this perfume because I, I just I already know. First of all, packaging gets a 10 out of 10. Okay, definitely getting a 10 out of 10. I mean, could they could have gone further? I mean, how much further could they have gone? They have a pink bear, teddy bear head. Like they've incorporated all these different materials, the plastic pink head, you have the clear glass bottle, you have the machino name dipped in like metallic silver. The hands of the bear is a frosted pink color. Like how much further could they have gone is what I'm thinking. I don't know, maybe the bear could have been blowing a bubble gum ball, but that would just be too much. I feel like this is a 10 out of 10 for packaging for me. This is gonna look so cute on my dresser or with the rest of my perfumes. I have so freaking happy. 10 out of 10 for packaging for me. Price point, $45. I think that's a great price point for what you get. I feel like the fragrance notes are deliciously and married well, so great together. Absolutely love that. And the packaging is really, you could tell the quality and time put into this packaging. Absolutely $45 is a steal. Like I would probably pay $60 for this. I've bought Victoria's Secret perfumes for $60 for before. So a perfume like this for $60, definitely, I would definitely pay $60 for this with no problem at all. So $45 for me, I feel like was a deal. So price point, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 for price point. Ooh, what's that? I'm smelling cinnamon now. That was drying down into like more of a cinnamony note. 
I love when fragrances do that, when it Bird has one initial scent and then it kind of goes into different scents and there's different levels. Absolutely love this fragrance. Obviously, I can't give you guys a longevity test because we've only been sitting here a few minutes now, but as far as potency goes and the potency level goal, we're gonna go ahead and rate that. I'm gonna give potency probably like, I'll give potency, I feel like it's pretty potent. For an order toilet, I feel like it's pretty potent. For an order toilet, this smells more, the potency level in this is more of like a perfume. I would give the potency in this a 10 out of 10 because I wasn't expecting it to be that potent for an order toilet. Order toilets seem to be more around the, the realm of like a body spray and this was definitely like that, like that. The potency in this was definitely more perfume vibes. Absolutely, absolutely love it. 10 out of 10 for potency, 10 out of 10 for price point, 10 out of 10 for packaging. Now let's talk about the fragrance notes themselves absolutely gorgeous i do however feel that the rose could have been toned down a little bit more especially on my skin in the air i didn't mind it too much but on my skin i was just like oh it's a little too equal to the bubble gum i want the bubble gum to be more than the rose but that's just my personal preference because i am a gourmand girly so for fragrance notes i'm going to give this a 8.5 out of 10 for fragrance notes okay dollies so for overall I would probably rate this fragrance overall a 9.8. And like I said, the only reason why it didn't get a 10 out of 10 is because of that rose in my skin. I just felt like it was a little too much, but this y'all, Go get it. That's all I have to say. That is it, dolls. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Leave your fragrance suggestions in the comments below, and I will see you dollies down there. I love you. Bye! Bye, dolls.